I'm asking myself, well, where is the fair play? The famous English fair play. As he was told to sell star defender Yunus Kabul. They told me that the Premier League forced them to do it because they said that the Premier League, if we will not sell Kabul, the Premier League will not give us money. So I said, what is it, mafia here? <laughs> this is football, what is it? the bomb or not let us die young or let us live forever we don't have the power but we never say never sitting in a sand pit life is a short trip the music's for the sad man Happen to stop by in the hood And they hop they pretty ass up on the hood of that pretty ass car Without a wrinkle in today Cause there's no tomorrow Just a picture perfect day that lasts a whole lifetime And it never ends Cause all we have to do is hit be one so Let's just stay in the moment Smoke some weed, drink some wine Reminisce, talk some shit forever Young is in your mind Leave them off the can of race Neither space nor time So when the director yells cut I'll be fine I'm forever young Forever young I wanna be forever young Do you really want to live forever? Forever and ever For living, I'm living up tight See you somewhere up in the sky Fin I die, I'll be alive For a million years, bye bye So not for legends, I'm forever young My name shall survive Through the darkest blocks Over kitchen stoves, over pirates' pots My name shall be passed down to generations While debating up in barbershops Young slung, hung here Showed it a nigga from here With a little ambition, just what We can become here And as the father passed the story down To his son's ears, younger kid Younger every year yeah, so if you love me, baby, this is how you let me know Don't ever let me go, that's how you let me know, baby Forever young, I wanna be forever young Do you really want to live forever, forever Yeah, I mean, I'm it's gonna be the last time, obviously, we all play together So, uh, you know, it's an emotional day for everyone involved in the club um, you know, it would have been lovely to go out with a big, with a big win. Um, but you know, this club will come back. They're a massive club, you know, great history and fantastic fans. So um, they'll definitely be back. They lit the fuse for a day of anger and recrimination, which would ultimately lead to the resignation of the chief executive. I'll be here forever. We're going to Come on, you've got to admit now, you're going to tell some truth? Yes, you've been lied for 18 months. Okay. You've, been, you've been lied for 18 months, mate. Yes, 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 all I've tried to do is set this football club. All I've ever tried to do. And we couldn't buy players. We didn't have money. So why did you put this embargo? To show everybody what? <laughs> Lost the Premier League's fit and proper persons test and arrived at Fratton Park in June, complete with Portsmouth baseball cap after some unusual Middle Eastern takeover talks. They told me he was uh, an expert in restructuring and that was, that was the reason why he was, why he was brought in. Peter Stoy, of course, didn't like me because uh, uh, I was controlling the money. Three 
Following the players' wages for September not being paid, following various um, tax um, not being paid, my advice was to not take over then, but because of the state of the company. Fratton Park as his security. They settled a winding up petition from Revenue and Customs. But within days, more money was needed. Having left Portsmouth six million, Chan Rai pumped in another 10. All financial matters at the club were being controlled by Daniel Azugi. Meanwhile, in an ongoing case, Peter Storey, Milan Mandrik, and the club's most successful manager in generations, Harry Redknapp, face trial on charges of tax evasion, which they all strenuously deny. You ask me, if I knew what I know today, would I sell the club? No, I would not. There's just an enormous story of intrigue, characters, real, imagined, who knows. You knew all the time, everybody outside would be blaming you. you. I always knew that. I always knew it would be me that would end up being a fool. The people that do something wrong, they have to be punished. But who are you punished here? You punish the fans, you punish the players, you punish the, the staff. They didn't do anything wrong. which in 2005 was 35 million pounds, had peaked at more than 130 million pounds by the 2008 FA Cup final. Chan Rai wasn't the only one frustrated. The tax man was gunning for Portsmouth in the High Court. On a tense morning, the club were a heartbeat away from being wound up. They were given seven days to prove they could turn their business around, and they brought in solvency expert Nick O'Reilly back. He was soon baffled by what he found. It's helped this football club, all I've ever tried to do. And, and when you see things now, when, you know, when you, when you drive in and there's a banner up on the road down the thing saying, store is a liar, you know, that really, really gets my goat. And look at that. It's a sad way to end what has been, you know, a fantastic eight years for me personally, you know, and hopefully for the club. I'm just, um, I, I can only just some sort of sadness in the as well. Seven seasons they've been playing Premier League football. It's rarely been a quiet time on these sleepy, sunny Southern. Today, just being here makes it a day to remember. We are the sea. Portsmouth have started their Premiership life with a bang. Stands on golden sand. Premiership quality, premiership class. And go sail. Comes back to start. Portsmouth 2, Manchester United 0. She's there watching for me. A day of sadness and humiliation for Harry Redknapp. Then straight to her arms. And go sail. We still remember that wonderful first game in the Premiership when they won. Perhaps we could do the same against Aston Villa again today. 4-1 victory at home against Harry Southampton. And Mendes' goal against City, the year we stayed up was pretty special. The first year we was in the Premiership and beat Bolton 4-0 and that fourth goal put us to the top of the division. And Matty Taylor against Everton, the volley from the halfway line. The Man United game at home when Ferdinand managed to score an own goal. We went Port to beat Southampton 4-1 on the centre down. Going back, I suppose, uh, beating Redden 7-4. Bellhead, 2-0 against Liverpool. It's been tough this year, but we'll be back here next year.